Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick uh, overview of the Norton Ghost 15. It's a backup and recovery program. Um, you start on the main home tab here, it tells you your current status at the moment. Mine's saying it's at risk because I basically just because I haven't set a backup point for my D drive. I currently got a C, a D, and an E drive, three drives in my computer. Um, it's telling me where the bus backup designation is. I currently set the backups to store in one of the one of my other hard drives in the computer, the E drive. It's recommended that you keep multiple copies of your backups just in case the drive that you store in the backups on goes and when you need those backups then if your drive's corrupted then you're uh, not in good shape really. It's got a current Fretcon level Basically, this is at Fretcon level is set by the Symantec organization based on the level of viral activity they see in the wild. So it will. It's currently saying it's elevated, meaning that there's maybe a couple of um, threats out there at the moment, which could potentially uh, mess your computer up. So. We've got some common tasks like uh, run and manage your backups, uh, recover my co computer and recover my files. The next tab over is the status tab. So this basically is the status tells you, uh, gives you a really nice uh, calendar type view of when all your, your tasks for each of the drives. You can set up different days for different uh, recoveries and different times of day. So the status view is showing as well that when it's performed a backup correctly it's got a little tick by it and so I know that my last backup was February the 3rd, doesn't look like I've backed up for a while and uh, I'm scheduled for a backup today, 7 o'clock. Uh, I can back up now because my last scheduled backup was missed so I can click that and back up. Um, you get this backup progress and performance, so it will calculate the time remaining to backup. It's backing up the entire C drive, so that's my preferred backup at the moment. Is I'm backing up my entire sort of Windows boot drive. Uh, that just in just in case you know I ever completely screw my boot drive up, that I've got a, a complete image, and that means I can put any other. If the hard drive fails, I can put a new hard drive in there and put the Norton Ghost boot up disk in and boot up and then basically point it to the image uh, the drive image that I I get from doing a backup and it should uh, in theory that's one thing I haven't tested at the moment is it bringing back a full full drive image but uh, I'd hope that's what it would do so still calculating the size of it and Normally it takes between 5 and 10 minutes to do my hard drive, which is it's a 256 uh, GB solid state drive, so it's pretty fast to actually back up. And also you can move the slider so uh, it improves response, uh, the responsiveness of the computer just in case your computer slows down during the, um, the backup procedure. Okay, so it wasn't quite five or ten minutes to do a full backup. Uh, stopped the video there and restarted it. Uh, it actually took 19 minutes 43 seconds, and that was for 256 gig on a very fast solid state drive. So I can imagine if you've got like a terabyte uh, mechanical drive, this easily taking well over an hour, two hours, you know, a couple of hours to actually complete a full backup. Um, you can create backups of specific folders. Your, your my documents or whatever like that but um, my backups just a full C drive backup <laughs> so there we have it it we've got a new backup today go so the next uh, pane is the tasks So the next tab is Task tab. This is where you really set up all your the backups that you've got to set to run. You can run 
one one time backups or actually go into the recovering of your files. Um, so if I quickly show you the how to run or manage your backups, it's a real nice interface here that you can see. Uh, you've got define new and then you've got a really nice wizard which you can go and select all the different drives in your computer or select the files and folders which you want to back up. Um, it goes through step by step exactly how to choose these things, very intuitive and quick to set up and then you can see all your backup jobs all stack up in this pane here um, and then you can even edit them, edit the settings of particular backups, change schedule, um, backup off-site settings, I'm not sure what the off-site is but that might even transfer down a network to another a separate computer so this program as well you know it can be used by network administrators to uh, backup computers as well but just for a standard uh, consumer use you're backing up your files your folders and your drives um, so that's a, a really nice intuitive um, way to run and manage your backups um, so if you want to recover your files you can hit recover my files uh, and point it to specific recovery points uh, at the moment I can use this recovery point which I just created uh, last so select that and then I can I can search for separate files within that recovery point so let's just say I had a, a file called license which I needed to recover I could search for that within the uh, within the recovery point and it would go away searching all the different files and let's just say you know I had a, an Adobe license which I needed to uh, get hold of and recover then I can quickly drill down into to all these different folders and use the it also allows you to actually open a file explorer to show you all the files within your specific recovery point and my, my recovery point has got the whole of the C drive so when I explore the C drive it actually mounts the recovery data and I can see absolutely all the folders as I would do on my main primary boot drive and I can go in and drill in and copy out any of the items that I need and so that's a really neat fast way to, to get at your backups now I think my C drive it does some hard drive it does some compression data compression on the recovery point images I think I've got about maybe 200 gigs or about 150 gigs in my C drive and it compresses it down to about 60 or 70 gigs worth of data so I think it's got some quite um, good compression on the backups but uh, I can't really quote too much about that because I haven't played around with it too much. So within tasks it also has the extra functionality to convert your uh, when you created full backup images to convert them to virtual machine images so all you have to do here is very much the same as defining backups you can define uh, a scheduled task to actually create workstation image or VMware server images um, or whatever type of uh, virtual machine that, you, that you'd that you like to try and convert the image to obviously the, the image may not be compatible with say you might not be able to load convert a an XP image uh, to a VM server type disk but uh, some of the other ones may be applicable. So in the tools tab uh, we've got uh, options to change uh, or manage the destination of your backups. Um, so you can set your backups to uh, save to different drives. Lots of different options here. One thing I do like about the Norton Ghost is the amount of different options that it gives you so it gives you a lot of flexibility and power where you want recovery points to um, be stored. Uh, the recovery point browser is just another way of interrogating your recovery points so here I can 
open the latest recovery point that I created and it will actually show me all the, the files and folders which are in that recovery point and then I can go in and recover the files out using this recovery point browser so it allows you multiple ways to get in and interrogate these recovery point files whether to completely use the recovery point to completely restore to a drive or mount the recovery point and go in using Windows Explorer to 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 drag and drop your files out or using the semantic recovery point browser to go in and check that your the files are okay and to um, recover them out. You can copy um, hard drives copy recovery points to different locations or burn them to disk create the custom recovery disk I think this is the recovery disk I should have created it I've, uh, I actually I didn't download this off the web so I've got I assume that the the disk that I used to install the Norton Ghost actually is a recovery disk in itself but if you haven't got a recovery disk that say your hard drive explodes and you need to to recover from a system image I'm guessing this is the disk that you need to to boot from initially to uh, load the image onto the, dr the new drive so again this is just showing the level of detail that you can go into in the advanced tab we've got all the different drives so when you attach a different external hard drive it even tries it it looks at these I haven't got uh, any external hard drives hooked up to my computer at the moment when I've had some in the past you know it's, it's it's remembered them and you can assign different jobs for your backup your external drives as well uh, your backup jobs your backup history so it gives you uh, a lot of different options I haven't used the product to completely restore a system drive as uh, I haven't had any problems with my boot drive at the moment um, but looking at how the product performs through its user interface uh, I'm fairly confident it would do a decent job. If not, I've still got all the recovery points that uh, can be saved away. It a, seems a very good sound product. Um, I've seen it crash on a couple of occasions. It's not it's not 100% stable, but you know 95% of the times I use it, it does does what I want it to do. So on the whole, I recommend Norton Ghost as a product to uh, back up and recover your files. Uh, I would hope in the future, if they brought out a new version like Norton Ghost 16, that it would be backwards compatible with any your recovery points created in Norton Ghost 15 would be backwards compatible and you'd be able to use the latest and greatest version. Um, I haven't used Norton Go Ghost in the past, so I'm not sure if that... If the if they operate in that way, but you'd hope that would be the case. So that's a quick quick overview of Norton Ghost. Thanks for watching.